Praise the Lord. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. This video is for young believers working on their faith. Are you ready to overcome fear and step into a future filled with hope and possibilities? Today, I want to talk about how you can conquer fear with faith and live a life of courage and purpose. The Bible says in Isaiah 41 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. God is always by our side, ready to guide us through every challenge. As we learn this concept, our faith will become firm and we will face challenges confidently. Fear is a natural emotion, but it doesn't have to control our lives. Let's talk about good fear and bad fear. Good fear is the kind that protects us from danger, like the fear of touching a hot stove. But bad fear, oh, that's the one that holds us back from achieving our dreams and fulfilling our purpose. Moses learned to face his fears and led the children of Israel out of Egypt. When Moses and the people reached the Red Sea, he stretched out his hand with the rod he carried. The waters divided, allowing the people to cross safely on dry ground. But with God's assurance, he found the strength to face Pharaoh and lead his people to freedom or consider Esther, who risked her life to save her people, driven by faith rather than fear. In today's world, opportunities are everywhere. Jobs, success, creativity, they're all within reach, but sometimes we let fear stop us from even trying. Remember Joshua 1 to 9, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Creating a learning environment for yourself is crucial. Gather knowledge, but don't just collect it. Apply it in your daily life. When challenges come, and they will, you'll be ready, armed with the wisdom and courage that come from faith. It's important to realize that your challenges are not unique. Many have faced similar fears and triumphed. David faced Goliath with just a sling and a stone, but more importantly, with faith in God. The Holy Spirit is our guide, our helper in every situation. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, don't let fear dictate your actions. Instead, lean into your faith. Pray, seek God's guidance, and move forward with confidence. You've got this God is with you every step of the way. Thanks for listening, and remember, faith over fear, always. Stay blessed, stay courageous, and until next time, keep shining your light.